today we are going to study the map reduce program so in that program we have to pro process that how many users have logged for the maximum number uh, maximum period of time okay on the system particular so firstly we launch the eclipse then we create the package goes on the file new uh, firstly we have to create the project java project name as the uh, process then click on the next button and finish then we have to create the package then after that we have to create the class class name is also same as the project name as well as the package name click on the finish button here our class is also created then we have to copy the code so click on the browser type map reduce program i will provide the link of that particular file i created that block of a uh, log file as well as the program we need the log file as a input input file and uh, and here the code is the code we want to do copy so select that copy and paste it okay so in that code there are three classes okay first one is the rename as a process okay then second second one is the mapper class and third one is the reducer class okay so here we have to replace that name that is the process okay so these are the configuration error okay so click on the so we go on the project build path then add external archives file system after that user clip then hadoop hadoop made common file okay common jar file that means this one okay these error are gone then uh, we came forward up to up to these errors so again click on this project build path add external archives then file system file system and the user then lib lib nantar map reduce double click on it then cover this file then okay so these errors are gone so as we see there are no errors after that here we have that log file if you don't have that file then goes on that particular site again i will provide that link in the description box and copy this file copy this entries that is the ip address this time stamp and this all these thing and create here a new uh, empty document and uh, paste into that and save it as a log.txt you will get that file okay so goes on the terminal after that that is a pwd that is a present working directory list out that contain okay after that uh, we have to copy that file so again the program is same as the word count program okay hadoop fs again we have to copy that put after that 
desktop then where where is your file is on desktop name is at log.txt right small l log.txt okay again we have to repeat that log.txt because we are copying that file okay okay we got the exception okay we rename it log file.txt let's see txt txt mm. okay copy that data create a document file okay Master process dot txt <coughs> is it save it okay after that goes on the terminal that uh, Hadoop FS hyphen put then desktop after that uh, the file name is process process dot txt again the process dot txt check it once it's process right okay I'm done okay the file is copied now after that we have to create the jar file so we goes on that program click on right click on it export export then if you can't find that option click on the java then you will get that jar file click on the next button browse it okay goes on the cloud era okay rename it as a process process dot jar click on ok button click on next button next next and finish ok here our jar file is created then again we clear that ok after that we fetch that jar file so how do jar um then our jar file name is uh, process dot jar after that our package name is also the process process dot then class name is also process then after that our um, input file is also process dot txt and name the directory as we are going to make directory 16 as I say earlier if you use the particular directory once you can only use that once so it so our is map reduce data is going to be proceed so Here is map is 0, 0, 100 percent, 0 percent, 100, 100 percent and byte return is 3611 means our code is executed okay then we have to display that so Hadoop fs cat then directory name is directory 16 okay after that backslash part r one two three four five okay this is the by default 
by default code okay to display here we are seeing that particular system is locked for the for how many times okay this is the uh, these are the IP addresses and these are the log time okay so here maximum long log time is the this this IP address showing that it's lock for maximum time that is the 63 is the maximum number we check once Okay. 